welcome to you all so our topic is importance of academic and administrative audit in higher education institute so first of all see some background about this one academic and administrative audit simply this can be called with triple a so in the upcoming slides so wherever triple a comes means so don't confuse this is academic and administrative audit actually which is a system to control and maintain high standards in the field of higher education it is playing so which plays vital role for providing quality education to the learners all over the world in addition to the developed countries even developing countries also they are following the academic and administrative audit nowadays compulsory they are opting why because this is essential for everyone which is a continuous process of self introspection for the better growth of the institution so 21st century uh, which has been witnessed rapid changes in all walks of life considering these changes respective governments in the various countries have proposed various methods and measures to enhance the quality of education at higher education level names may be different but uh, all are attempting the final theme academic and administrative audit maybe they will call with the different names but overall theme is same in india along with central government some states have volunteered to have this academic and administrative audit which is mandatory measure for the institutions of higher education central government has assigned the responsibility to nac everyone aware of this national assessment and accreditation council whereas state government of nagaland has assigned academic and administrative audit committee under higher education body for auditing the institutions running in that state but nac is our india level so which can be assessed all the colleges including general institutions and technical institutions okay then what is academic audit first of all some surveys some reviews based on that so let us see academic audit which is a mechanism to examine and enhance the quality of our academic aspects of our institutions let to higher education according to one of the famous writers vl gupta he is a professor Department of Management Education at NIIT Bhopal defines what exactly academic audit it is a systematic and scientific process of designing implementing monitoring and reviewing the quality of academic system means inputs processes and outputs like in computer programming so you have to give the input to the computer and produces outputs accordingly then how outputs are produced by using some syntactical procedures or algorithms so here also inputs to the institution then what is the process with that uh, the outputs at our design level whether we are achieving or not so this is the academic audit it emphasizes on reviewing the performance of the academic inputs with respect to quality assurance so this is exactly the meaning of academic audit then coming to administrative audit according to so one of the writer m rajendran so m rajendran with the title academic assessment ignoring administrative audit is a paris accreditation and education in india volume 4 so this was uh, printed in 2007 one of the book so according to this uh, what is administrative audit which is a method of assessing the efficiency and effectiveness of the operating system of the administrative procedure policies decision making authorities functionaries strategy process feedback control mechanism etc so this all comes under administrative audit so the administrative audit certainly make the functionaries to ascertain 
the strengths and weaknesses of the operating system in our general and pin out the areas in particular and to ascertain where the function is stagnated and affected and where the special attention is required along with man and material resources because of this so the administrative audit is essential what are the aims and objectives of academic and administrative audit majorly for setting and maintenance of our academic standards then to maintain the quality of students learning opportunities then development in quality enhancement then the need for greater integration between academic planning research assessment and quality assurance majorly the greater integration among academic planning research assessment and quality assurance the recognition and use of the outcomes from professional association activities then the recognition of the importance of enhancement of the quality what, what is the necessary of this academic and administrative audit its necessity to confirm that the arrangements for quality assurance which are fit for purpose and conform to the institution's role and mission to provide assurance that the standards of higher education align with expectations which can ensure that the students have access to appropriate learning opportunities through part provision private study and supported learning simply self learning and promote and enhance high quality teaching and learning and to confirm that students are fully supported in their academic and personal development then advance the highest possible levels of student achievement finally encourage strategic development that enriches the curriculum and enhances students opportunities for employment and career development so with these aspects so academic and administrative audit is necessary for every higher education institutions finally so we already mentioned so tac is one of the agency which was maintained by the central government through ugc so national level all the institutions not only technical general institutions also are assessed by this nac process as per well the guidelines of the university grants commission the apex body on higher education in the country the task of academic and administrative audit is assigned to an independent institution. established by ministry of human resources and development which is called as nac so nac is independent regulatory body ugc has made nac evaluation as mandatory for all higher education in india through nac which is located in bangalore its reach is nationwide since it is the only authority responsible for assessment and accreditation of higher education institutions in india it has developed its own system of assessing the quality of education provided by the higher education institutions it evaluates the performance of the institute that opts for evaluation on the basis of past and present contribution of the higher education institution it is a fixed scale common for all the higher education institutions in india so the nac assessment process mainly consisting of the following seven criteria the first one curricular aspects the second one teaching learning and evaluation the third one research consultants and extension fourth one infrastructure and learning resources fifth one student support and progression sixth one governance and leadership seventh one innovation and best practices you can see all the criteria are related to one similar category the first one is curricular our program curriculum our syllabus the courses the regulation evaluation then teaching learning our teaching learning deliverables process and evaluation outcome then research our r and d research consultancy extension activity then fourth one is infrastructure related physical and academic supporting facilities infrastructure learning resources for teaching learning then fifth one student student support progress and 
their support and progression their academic results their jobs their higher education etc then governance and leadership management running of the institution with their policies reforms then finally what are the innovation and what are the best practices we are adopting so these are all the seven criteria so all together seven criteria so it is and thousand points so anyway at the end so i will give the briefing of all these criteria so what are sub matrix etc so then uh, the academic audit academic and administrative audit and the benchmarking so academic standards set by particular institution which are called as benchmarks of the institution about the quality they provide in academic institutes they are always defined by student achievements academic nothing but with respect to student achievements only the main aspects of it are the acquisition of knowledge the development of capability and the exercise of intellectual skills by the student so our students are major stakeholders for academic related it is applicable to all disciplines and reflects the expectations established by institution as well as the academic requirements and the competencies associated with individual courses and programs okay uh, that is about just overview of academic and administrative audit so what 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 exactly academic audit uh, administrative audit then uh, aims and objectives then uh, our india level the assessment body nac so this is a overview and important stuff then coming to the glance of nac just now we mentioned nac consisting of seven criteria again each criteria divided into sub metrics let us see one by one just to, i have given only the names so first one curricular aspect it is divided into four sub matrices first 1.1 curricular planning and implementation 1.2 academic flexibility then 1.3 curriculum enrichment then 1.4 feedback system all together related to criteria 1 then coming to criteria 2 which is very important entire of the seven criteria criteria 2 having highest rated that is 350 points out of 1000 that's why it is very very important that is teaching learning and evaluation it is divided into seven sub matrix the 2.1 student enrollment and profile 2.2 catering to the student diversity 2.3 the teacher learning process 2.4 teacher profile and quality 2.5 the evaluation process and reform 2.6 student performance and learning outcomes then finally 2.7 student satisfaction these are all the metrics related to teaching learning and evaluation then criteria 3 is related to research innovations and extension which consisting of seven sub criteria for sub matrices 3.1 promotion of research and facility 3.2 research mobilization for research 3.3 innovation ecosystem 3.4 research publication and awards 3.5 consultancy 3.6 extension activities 3.7 collaboration these are all research innovations and extensions then criteria fourth is related to infrastructure and physical academic facilities and learning resources like library so it contains four sub matrices 4.1 physical facilities 4.2 library as a learning resource then 4.3 it infrastructure computing facilities computer labs internet wifi etc then 4.4 maintenance of campus infrastructure physical and academic related infrastructure then criteria is related to student support and progression which consists of four sub matrices the first one is student support second one is student progression third one is student participation and activity finally fourth one is alumni engagement then criteria 6 is related to institute governance leadership and management which consisting of five sub matrices 6.1 institutional vision and leadership 6.2 strategy development and deployment 
6.3 faculty empowerment strategy 6.4 financial management and resource mobilization 6.5 internal quality assurance system the entire of nac process at the institution level that can be carried out and monitored by iqac internal quality assurance system iqs then the cell is called as internal quality assurance cell through iqac whatever the initiatives at the institution level that can be carried out even after first cycle of accreditation before going to second cycle every year you need to submit annual quality assurance report through iqac it is mandatory for second and subsequent that's why iqac plays major role in the entire process of nac then coming to the seventh criteria institutional values and best practices which consisting of three sub criteria the first one is institutional values and social responsibility and the second one is best practices and third one is institutional distinctive so these are all the criteria wise the sub metrics again each sub metric having different uh, metrics in the entire of nat process the metrics are divided into two types one is uh, Yes, sir. You can proceed, sir. Yeah. The entire of uh, seven criteria, there are two types of matrices. So one is called as quantitative matrix, another one is called as qualitative matrix. In the entire of NAC process, the evaluation can be done in three ways. First, evaluation of quantitative matrix by third party agency, which is called as DVD, Data Verification and Validation. 70 percentage weightage is given out of 1000 marks for the quantitative metrics quantitative metrics are nothing but like statistical data last 5 years so now we have to collect the last 5 years data as per the formats templates given by each and every criteria then the 30 percentage evaluation can be done by nac people visit they will visit our campus on site uh, is it and they will observe the process and interaction among our stakeholders physical facilities academic facilities so then 30 percentage of the weight is given for the peak team visit the 30 percentage matrices are called as qualitative matrices qualitative means so we have, we have to provide some write ups description about uh, each and every metric the 30 percentage matrices and uh, one more component is there in the second criteria 2.7 student satisfaction survey so uh, which carries uh, 60 marks Th- that is directly done by the students so nat will send feedback to the student what are the database we will provide to the nat during submission of our self study report we have to provide email id phone number to the each and every student uh, who are studying from first year to final year in our institution randomly they will pick uh, uh, 10 to 20 percentage of students then they will send that uh, feedback link to the respective students email then they have to fill the responses that can be evaluated you know 11 percent percentage responses are required so if you will reach that then based on that uh, the 60 marks will be evaluated so these are all the three Uh, methods in the entire of NAC process. So now, if your institution suppose it is new, after uh, at least uh, one batch will be in the final year. So you can eligible for applying provisional accreditation, which was uh, started from April onwards. So which can be valid for two years. That is very easy. If you can go for provisional accreditation, you can uh, test where you are standing. what are the things we have to improve and what are the processes everything you will be aware so after your improvement at any time even before expiry even after expiry you can go for full accreditation provisional accreditation is valid for only 2 years whereas full accreditation is valid for 5 years so two options are there even for affiliated colleges from 1st june 22 to onwards so actually for affiliated colleges around 112 matrices uh, together combination of quantitative and qualitative 
reduced to 56 matrices many of them were removed and they made very clearly very easy now uh, latest uh, manual which is applicable for affiliated colleges whereas uh, autonomous colleges and universities uh, the same old manual is continuing as of now okay similarly in addition to nac the institutions uh, which are purely technical like uh, engineering even for uh, management uh, courses mba master of computer applications mca so which are running under technical institutions so they are eligible for uh, applying another accreditation which is called as national board of accreditation but here you can see wh- what are the differences between nba and nac nac is institution level and nac is applicable even for non technical institutions also like degree colleges a general education pharmacy health institution open university distance education uh, stand alone pg colleges like uh, uh, msc mcom whatever the courses then mba mca stand alone college also you can uh, apply nac whereas nba is not like that it is applicable only for technical institution like engineering institution so in the umbrella of engineering institution in a mba course or mca course even uh, pharmacy institutions those are also technical related for all this you can go for nba accreditation another major difference so nac is overall institution level which covers all the programs all the ug ug courses pg courses whatever the courses even uh, diploma courses Uh, value added courses then uh, whatever the courses offering under your institution every every program will be comes under nac uh, accreditation process whereas nba is not like that nba you can't go for institution level you can go for program level like your program means uh, it may be ug pg ug again you are having different uh, programs like btech computer science it ec triple e mechanical electrical civil etc so separately you have to apply nba accreditation for all the ug programs similarly pg programs also separately you have to apply so that's why both are different program wise is nba overall institution level is nac like nac nba also having some criteria some of the criteria which are uh, similar to nac also some some aspect not full but uh, some names uh, look similar but the parameters are uh, slightly different so nba consisting of overall 10 criteria the 10 criteria are divided into two parts one is program level criteria another one is institution level criteria program level uh, consisting of uh, total seven criteria the first one is vision mission and program educational objectives then second one is program curriculum and teaching learning process this program curriculum and teaching learning process also there in the nac nac criteria one is uh, curriculum related uh, nac criteria two is teaching learning so both are combined here then uh, third one course outcomes and prog- program outcome so these two already included in the nac criteria two teaching learning process the 2.6 is related to course outcomes and program program outcome so there uh, that is that is for 30 mark but uh, here uh, nba it is completely for uh, 100 100 to 130 points are there for this criteria 3 then uh, fourth one students performance there also uh, in nac also we are having five student support that is progression and fifth one faculty information and contribution in the nac so in the criteria 2 faculty details are there in the criteria 3 research details are there so faculty information comes under uh, nac criteria 2 and their contribution there is research and development comes under the criteria 3 of nac then facilities and technical support uh, so uh, in nac also criteria 4 infrastructure and uh, learning resources so uh, similar things are there then uh, seventh one is continuous improvement this is based on uh, here uh, the continuous improvement with respect to academic audit then continuous improvement with respect to uh, outcomes the results of uh, course outcomes program outcomes and program specific outcomes then the continuous improvement with respect to students uh, 
progress in higher education placements and entrepreneurship that continuous improvement with respect to students admissions a uh, quality of uh, rank etc so all these seven criteria are program level then uh, that means only these are all applicable to a specific program you are going to apply suppose you are applying btech computer science and engineering so only btech computer science and engineering data we have to provide with respect to all these seven criteria so other department data won't include it why, why because this is program level accredited is not institute level then other three criteria at institute level the eighth one first year academics so first year academics here uh, you are you are using course first year academic result needs to be considered then student support system institute level central facilities like uh, mentoring system feedback and facilities feedback and teaching learning co curricular extra curricular activities nss ncc then uh, career guidance uh, training and placements all all central facilities under student support system then governance institution support and financial resources in nac criteria 6 governance is there so uh, some governance part covers here so uh, half of the criteria which are covered in nac also but nac entire institution data needs to be considered whereas nba only specific ug or pg which are the program you are applying only that data needs to be considered so here also all the 10 criteria so the overall weightage is uh, 1000 so here also it contains uh, sub points just a glance you can see the criteria one within mission and program educational objectives which consisting of five sub sections or sub criteria first is state the vision and mission of the department and institute then uh, to state the program educational objectives then three indicate where the vision mission and pos are published and disseminated among stakeholders then four state the process for defining vision mission of the department and pos of the program then uh, five establish consistency of pos with the mission of the department so this is criteria 1 submit submit research then criteria 2 it has two parts one is program curriculum second one is teaching learning in program curriculum uh, the submetric one uh, what it contains process used to identify extent of compliance of the university curriculum for attaining program outcomes program specific outcomes also identify curricular gaps if any the second one delivery details of the content beyond syllabus for the attainment of pos and psos then 2.2 teaching learning process so which consisting of the following submetrices the first one is the process followed to improve quality of teaching learning then quality of internal semester question paper including assignments and their evaluation then quality of student projects then initiative related to industry interaction then initiative related to industry internship and summer training then criteria three is completely related to course outcomes program outcomes and their attainment first we have to define the articulation matrices for each course outcomes so mapping with the program outcome and program specific outcome so before that for every course we have to define course outcome 4 to 6 then and you uh, have to provide the mapping matrices they are called as articulation matrices co po matrices then uh, co pso matrices even for course wise po pso matrices program level then attainment of course outcomes next one is attainment of program outcomes and program specific outcomes then the criteria for student performance first is enrollment details then success rate results in stipulated period of the program here two categories without backlogs in any semester year of study then within stipulated within four years of duration whether uh, the students are completed their graduation or then academic performance in third year level academic performance in second year level then placements higher studies and entrepreneurship another important part you have to remember for nb accreditation you need to provide three assessment years data so only faculty information student information current academic year also considered but remaining all the details when results the assessments the progress whatever latest completed academic year that means cay m1 suppose our running year is 21 22 now we are at the end suppose you entered 22 23 maybe this month or next month then that is cay 22 admitted student details we have to provide 
ट्वेंटी टू करेंट अवेलेबल फैकल्टी डीटेल्स यू हेव टू प्रोवैड देन रिमेनिंग आल द लेटेस्ट कंप्लीटेड इयर ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू सी ए वाई एम वन देन एम टू दट इज एम वन मीन माइनस वन टू द सी ए वाई देन माइनस टू टू द सी ए वाई दट इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन देन एम थ्री सो नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी 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 वन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू दिस थ्री कंप्लीटेड इयर्स डेटा यू हेव टू प्रोवैड फर् एन बी एक्रेडिटेशन फिर एज नैक अक्रेडिटेशन यू हेव टू प्रोवैड फाइव इयर्स डेटा सो देर आलो फैकल्टी स्टूडेंट रिलेटेड करेंट इयर आलो इंक्लूडेड बट रिमेनिंग आल लास्ट फाइव इयर्स दट मीन टू थौज ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू टू बैक फोर इयर्स सो लाइक दट देन वन मोर मेट्रिक इन क्रैटीरिया फोर प्रोफेसनल ऐक्टिविटी लाइक प्रोफेसनल सोसईटी चाप्टर्स and they are organizing events at uh, department level institution level then publication of technical magazines newsletters the student participation in inter institute events by the students of the program of study see within the college inter department level activities they won't consider inter institute means within the state outside the state even for uh, awards one having marks within the lo- local they won't consider here then criteria five faculty information and contribution Here, first uh, student-faculty ratio, then faculty cadre proportion, designation-wise, how many professors, how many associate, how many assistant, then faculty qualifications, PhD, PhDs, then faculty retention by considering uh, last three years. So minimum 50 percent is retention is required. Uh, for that, you will get 10 marks. Less than 50 percent, you will get zero. Then innovation by the faculty for uh, teaching learning. then faculty participating or attending in faculty development program training activities sctps etc so nba considers minimum 2 uh, days 2 to 3 days then uh, above 3 days so minimum 2 days 2 marks 3 and above 5 points whereas nac considers the same point is there in the nac also one week duration only whatever the fdp is the activities you are participating in a one week duration If it is less than one week, they won't consider. Then uh, 5.7 research and development, uh, 30 points are there here. Academic research here, publications, PhD, pursuing PhD, uh, guiding, and books, book chapters, patents, etc. All comes under academic research. Then sponsored research, funded research like AACT project, DSP projects, UGC projects, etc. Then development activities like. Uh, Uh, research lab then uh, developing instructional materials then product development then uh, working models etc then consultation in the industry if you industry consultant then faculty performance appraisal and development system then visiting our adjunct or emirates faculty so normal guest lectures uh, we use it to conduct uh, related to emerging areas okay but uh, here visiting adjunct or emirate faculty means one particular course some portion needs to be delivered by these uh, delegates that to uh, per year minimum 50 hours needs to be engaged in an academic year uh, minimum 50 hours otherwise uh, they won't consider for 50 hours 3 points for one year like 3 year 3 into 3 9 points you will get so any uh, visiting or emirate or adjunct means you can use some part of the syllabus like we can our base and the travel will activities may be conducted that won't be considered here so coming to criteria 6 which is related to facilities and technical support so which contains the following five submetrics first is adequate and well equipped laboratories and technical manpower Technical manpower means lab wise one technical staff is required. Suppose you are showing ten lab, how much are ten technical staff are there? So lab wise dedicated technical staff you have to show. Then lab wise additional facilities created for improving the quality of learning experience in the laboratory, like uh, experiments beyond syllabus. So some of the equipments which are uh, not suitable for your regular experiments, but that you can uh, make it as additional facility. So some extra experiments so you can include. Okay. Then laboratory maintenance and overall ambience. Then project lab, dedicated project lab. Then safety measures in each and every lab, like uh, 
डूस एंड डोंट फर्स्ट एड किट आई रेस्टिंग एक्सेट्रा ऑल नीड्स टू बी डिस्प्लेड इन ईच एंड एवरी लैब देन क्राइटेरिया सेवन कंटिन्यूस इंप्रूवमेंट आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन द रिजल्ट ऑफ पी ओस एंड पी एस ओस देन एक्शन टेकन देन अकाडमिक ऑडिट एंड एक्शन टेकन देन इंप्रूवमेंट इन प्लेसमेंट एंड हयर स्टडी एंटरप्रीनरशिप then improving the quality of students admitted in the program like uh, it may be e set or i set or m set and uh, management quota their intermediate percentages so quality of the admission then criteria 8 which is institute level uh, related to first year academic year first year student faculty ratio qualification of first year faculty who are teaching for uh, first year common course then first year academic performance their first and second semester results for the last three year assessment year then again same criteria three we are having attainment but their attainments of second year to final year courses but first year courses attainment can be done separately so uh, in uh, criteria 8 attainment of course outcomes of the first year courses attainment of program outcome from the first year courses the same process but courses are related to only first year then criteria 9 student support system so institute level so mentoring system at individual level feedback analysis and reward or corrective measures feedback on facilities central facilities as well as department facilities self learning like library e resources e subscription subscription of uh, general uh, databases e books etc even that uh, moocs ict then a career guidance training placement institute level uh, placements and training then entrepreneurship dedicated cell co curricular extra curricular all uh, technical non technical activities like uh, sports ncc nss these are extra curricular then institute level uh, activities events and uh, activities there finally criteria 10 uh, governance institutional support and financial resources so first organization governance and the transparency vision of the institution mission of the institution governing body their setup functions of various uh, committees service rules procedures recruitment and promotion policies the decentralization in the working and grievance redressal mechanism delegation of financial power transparency and availability the correct and ambiguous information in the public domain college website then uh, 10.2 budget uh, at institute level allocation utilization and all statements same budget at uh, department level specific budget allocation department level allocation and utilization then finally central facilities library and internet so library quality of learning resources hard and soft copies then internet facilities okay. so these are all the uh, overview of the 10 criteria available in nba accreditation process so these are all the references uh, i used for this first nac official website this is the website so in the nac home page there is one option apply now whenever if you can click on apply now here it shows all the manuals related to affiliated colleges autonomous colleges university general education health institution open university distance learning etc every manual is available separately for every category so here uh, i referred the manual related to autonomous colleges which was updated on now uh, April 15, 2021. NBA evaluation guidelines, it's a self-assessment report tied to UG engineering. So whatever I presented. So overall metrics, metrics names are same, but internally some uh, may be changed, some removed, some new metrics may be added, like uh, affiliated college, autonomous colleges, universities, three categories. So then. Uh, the introduction slides where i have collected uh, from this sort academic and administrative audit a parameter of quality education one paper was published on this a referred interdisciplinary index in international open access mantra e general uh, in august 2015 which is a special issue proceeding of national conference a paper was published on this academic and administrative audit. okay with this now i am closing so it is open for uh, your 